going everybody welcome to cs540 week 3 python tutorial so if you're new here welcome be sure to check nellyblog.com and you you can click this image and you are able to come to this page um so in the last tutorial uh, we talked about the inform search and we did talk about four different search methods and in this tutorial we are going to realize um the a star search method in python so if you click this image, you are able to find um, the source code here. So here's a quick review. Um, there were two actually arrays for uh, a star search. One is opened, the other is closed. So for for open search, uh, sorry, open array, I uh, actually um, store all the possible um, nodes in it, and we will compare um, the minimum fn of each node and to. Um, choose the minimum node to the closed node and just delete the node in the you know, open uh, array. So for example, in the first time, um, the else is the only one, only node, so it's the smallest one, and we just copy it here. Then else got three children, that is A, B, F, C. Then we just um, store all of them here. And nine is the minimum one, so we just copy A here and just delete A, etc, etc. So, um, at the very last, we are able to get on uh, this closed array. So for closed array, is actually the node uh, we visited in sequence. And here, uh, in order to find the optimum sequence, um, or you could say the path, is actually the optimum path from the initial state to go state, we should go from the very end. That is the go here, go node here. So we just go back, and in the closed um, this array to check who is the one that um, goes to result in the uh, in the pr um, last node. So, for example, here the go node here is actually nine. Um, we need to check several things. So, first of all, is the previous node um, the cost edge that how much it takes from the initial net state to the current state, and for the first node. B here, uh, it is actually 5, so it's actually 5 here. And next, we are going to um, find um, the, the edge cost for uh, that node to the next node, and here is actually 4. So 5 plus 4 equals to the value of the G, which is 9 here, so okay, B is the one. Next, we go back to check whether A, uh, this node B here is the children is the child for A, not A or not. If it's not, then it just jumps back. And here, first we check, okay, B is the child for node S, and the node S here, the cost is actually, um, the cost for S is actually zero, and the cost uh, from S to B is actually five. And actually the cost here for B is actually five as well, so we know uh, the path is from S to B and to G. Um, so let's take a look on how to write the algorithm. So um, here is the tree that in our um, PowerPoint just now. So here are several things. So um, this is the parent nodes and these are the children's nodes. Um, and <clears throat> I have a uh, the co the edge cost um, as a list here since in Python dictionary. For every key, you can only have one value uh, in array if you want to have an array format. So um, I just store like this. And I store the uh, heuristic values uh, in another dictionary. So later we can just refer that. Um, here we have a actually have a cost. Um, so it's actually to calculate and uh, to store the, the cost for um, each different node. Um, when we are going to find the optimum um, path, we are going to use this as reference. So first of all, we are going to global tree and heuristic. And we are, we are also going to define, um, this is closed, sorry, closed and opened. Um, open here is, you remember there are two arrays we shown just now. So open array is just to um, to find um, the smallest one um, in this array, and we just pick it out um, to the closed array. 
so we are going to um, if we haven't found the uh, go node yet then we first going to have f1 equals to i1 for i and open so what this command does is actually um, you see the open here so we're going to take um, the second parameter which is the number um, the cost here um, not cost but um, the f1 which is the gm plus um, f hn uh, the value here and we're going to take um, the smallest one and store them into closed uh, list so chosen index equals to the fn dot index and we're going to have a main find a main value so here we're going to find a main value um, in fn and we find the index of that so um, we know which is the smallest one in the open and um, we are also going to have a node that is we are going to find um, what's the character of that node open um, chosen index and zero so zero is the first character uh, first parameter and that is the character close so um, for our closed um, array, we are just going to append this opened and chosen index. So we are going to, for example, in the first loop, we are going to just append on um, this list to the close here. And we are also going to delete um, this first one. And the reason why we have to delete this is every time we just pick the smallest one if we do not delete um, the smallest one then in the latter loops so we'll just continue uh, use this if closed minus one zero the reason why we have this is because um, if we succeed which is, which means we put a pound um, the G node to our closed and of course that's at the very end of the array that is why it's minus one and we just pick the first uh, parameter which is the character here if it is G then okay we are done so actually here uh, we are going to find the visiting nodes or you could say um, that is just closed uh, list so um, if it is G then it's just done and we just break the loop otherwise for item and tree node so node here um, is the node that we currently chosen um, we chose so if item so this is actually um, for item in the tree node um, that is this stuff for example the first time is us then we got this kind of stuff so for item 0 in close item wait oh close item for close item and close um, this is actually a little bit tricky so um, this is what we are actually testing so for example for uh, closed item in closed um, which is actually we are testing whether uh, the item for example A here uh, item is actually this one and item 0 is the first parameter which is the A here so we are checking whether the A is in our um, visiting node or not so it's just to make sure that it won't um, appears um, uh, many times and just appear only one time I mean so if it's already in that array then we just continue our loop otherwise we're going to update our dictionary that is our item 0 which is um, the character that we're going to append in the uh, in the array and that's cost node plus item 1 
So what does this mean? It's actually it will first um, add the cost of that node and also the item is um, and uh, from that node to the next node, the cost, uh, the edge cost of that. So uh, just to make sure that uh, one thing, so the cost here actually does not count the heuristic value. Um, it only counts all the edge costs, which is used for our later uh, optimum path uh, finding. Fn node equals to cost. So Fn node is the current, the Fn value for the current node. And here we have to add the heuristic value, which is item zero plus item one. Oops. So uh, this is the cost that I know that previously um, you mean, I mean, um, communicative um, cost value and the heuristic, uh, heuristic value of that um, current nodes and also one more thing it also has to um, add um, which is the fn value of the current node so um, next we're going to just have a temp <coughs> item 0 fn node so um, this is just the format um, in this kind of format and we're going to save them in the open here. The reason why we do like this is we really do not want to, um, you know, corrupt our um, open list, the noting in the open list. So open and we just go into append our tab here. Um, if you just directly like um, to change um, the item here, then it will actually, sorry, uh, it will actually corrupt the tree, not the cost here. Oh, sorry, not the open here. So we don't want to corrupt our tree since later we are still use that. Um, so this is the loop for um, the first one. Next, what we're going to do is we just find optimal sequence. So we're going to have a node called trace node uh, which is you remember at the very end we're going to find have the node which is starting from g then we go back and we're going to replace that to a node b in this case and optimal sequence i think i can use path here that is better but never mind just use sequence here so for i and range Length close minus two. I will explain why it's minus two here. Um, since we are starting from the very end, so the length of code closed minus one is the length of the um, the index of the last node um, in that array. And the reason why we minus another one is because um, we're actually starting from the very end, which is the trace node here, or we say the optimal sequence. We already have the last one. G in our array, so we can just starting from the second end and um, until the zero, uh, which is the first item in our closed array. Um, and just to children, and just to make it clear that um, I'm going to have a children costs, which is Tom one for temp in tree check note so first we are going to have a check note that is every time we check on the node of dots so close i and zero if the trace node and so we are going to find on uh, whether whether the current node uh, whether the track node is the children 
of our trace node or not. So if trace node um, in the children zero here, since we're going to have um, um, to find the characters instead of that array for children and tree check note. So here we just check whether it's parent and uh, it's the ch child of that uh, whether trace node is the child of um, our testing check node or not. And if yes, then we're going to do something. So first is children costs. And here you can see uh, actually tree here is still important. We have to keep our value the same. This is why we have the temp here instead of just corrupt our um, tree here. Temp one that is the no uh, the cost for temp in um, tree track note. So um, this is these are all the costs for. Um, the children here and and here we're going to have a children nodes as well and here is absolutely zero so after we have this we're going to have our final check so if the cost of the check node plus you remember so we're going to have the cost plus um, the children costs uh, which is here and whether it equals um, to the fm value or not. Children costs, children nodes, dot index, trace node. If they add it equals to the cost value for the trace node. Then our optimal um, sequence, we're going to append something. That is our check node. And also our trace node will get changed. And that is our check node. So um, last but not least, we're going to reverse our um, optimal node, optimal sequence. Since we're actually starting from the very end, um, which is G, um, as you can see here. Um, wait, where? Okay, here. Um, we actually start from G and we just uh, reversely added all the nodes together. Um, and last but not least, of course, we're going to return um, our close and our uh, optimal sequence. Okay, so um, let's take a look. Oops, it looks some um, problem. Um, actually, I think the problem here is actually in the last part to find a visiting nodes. Actually, here we need to add another um, zero since we're just checking um, the index. If we do not have this, then this can never be true and it will add. Um, other else, for example, um, to our to our um, opened opened um, note, then that actually doesn't make sense. So, oops. Yep, and this is the um, output that we want to see. And here, I just comment it out and. Yeah, so this is the thing that we, um, the result that we want, want, like, want to see. And here I also have another note on tree here, uh, which is actually the fourth order. Um, this example here is the third, three orders. And you can test it if you want. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next week tutorial.